It's the video debut of our MVP meter, and we start right at the top. Arthur, no big surprise. Aaron Rodgers, the number one guy. He's just getting it done in a variety of ways. You got it. Two weeks ago, found the end zone three times with Jermichael Finley. Decided last week he's going to mix it up a little bit. Found four different receivers. Oh, he also rushed for two touchdowns. It's been unbelievable what he's accomplished. You know, he's got the short-range passing game going, the long, the long-range passing game going. He really can't be stopped right now. 12 to 2 touchdown interception ratio. He's completing 73% of his passes right now. He's really on a special run, and he's going to be atop this list until something, uh, you know, until he shows something that's going to make that change. He seemingly hasn't missed a beat from the Super Bowl last year. It's tough to keep that going, especially the offseason we had. Boom, picks up right where he left off. At number three, Calvin Johnson. The guy's just been unstoppable. We know Matthew Stafford also on our list, but Megatron, just so good. You got it. Everyone knows the eight touchdowns in the first four weeks is a record. What you may not know, kind of an interesting stat, there are 10 teams in the NFL that have eight or less touchdowns, entire teams. So kind of puts things in perspective a little bit. Not to mention, in the past two weeks, they've obviously had to erase these huge deficits. Johnson's touchdowns are coming at big points in the game late in the game. He's really invaluable to them right now. I just don't know that you can stop him. I don't see him dropping down this list because I don't see anyone really containing him for very long. I think the biggest surprise name on our list that's now crept up and become a legit player this year, Matt Hasselbeck. Yeah, there's no question that uh, if, if someone told you they were expecting these kind of numbers from Hasselbeck early, they were lying. Um, we're kind of taking a leap of faith here because the MVP meter is designed to project where they're going to be at the end of the season. Hasselbeck's had a hard time staying healthy, but he's got one of the better offensive lines keeping him clean. He's got CJ who's finally starting to get going. His completion percentage, what he's been able to do with new offensive coordinator Chris Palmer has really been astounding. If he can keep it going, you may still see him on this list later in the season. He's carrying that team right now. I think people mostly expected Chris Johnson to be on this list if there was going to be any Titan, and I doubt anyone even expected that. That's a look at our MVP meter this week. For the full list, check it out at ProFootballWeekly.com.